Anyway, that project turned out to be a real bag of dicks. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to start by running some electrical wiring. Um, eventually I want to build a workshop over where the shelter is, take the shelter down, build a proper workshop, and it just occurred to me recently that I need electricity in the workshop. Um, as much as I tried to plan for everything ahead of time, like all the electrical and stuff, yeah, you know, I didn't think of everything. Workshop seems pretty obvious though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, well that's me for you. So the other thing I thought of too is eventually, like the, right now the generator is underneath the deck. Terrible place for it, absolutely terrible. It's loud, it's smelly, and the smell just kind of drifts under the deck and the dogs don't like it. Anyway. The generator is eventually going to go on the other side of the workshop. I'll build a nice little hut for it. Um, but I want to run some wiring. Well, first of all, I have to run electrical from the inverter out to the generator so that it can charge the, the inverter. And then I also want to run some a couple of sets of wires for the electric start that I want to have on my next generator. Uh, so I can start it remotely. I can just start it in here. I've seen some neat ones, all they have is a key that has an off, run, and start, just like you're at the ignition of a car. So you start it, and then leave it and run, when you're done you turn it off. So I think that'd be really cool to have that right here. I have no idea how many wires I need to run for it, I think four wires is going to be enough. Two sets, you know, I'm guessing. <laughs> Watch, it'll be like five wires or something like that, six wires, and I'll be like, shit. Anyway, I'll figure something out. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, when Alicia was here on the weekend, I ran a fish hook. Is that what they're called? I still don't know what they're called. Anyway, this line down from the top, I had to drill a hole up top and a hole here. And miraculously, we actually hit the hole from the top. Whoop. And uh, yeah, so I've got that done. Made a big mess here. There's like sawdust everywhere. Yay, sawdust, it's like snow or something, which we've had enough of. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start by doing that today. I gotta run the wires up here. And thankfully, I didn't get too far before, you know, I had to do this. Like, we're not all sealed in with pine yet, so I can still... This was the hardest part, running up here. And then I gotta go up through the uh, the studs up there, the cripple studs? I forget what they're called. The jack studs? The... Whatever. <laughs> I gotta pull down the plastic, because it's already up over the insulation. Drill holes through those. And then I can kind of go straight through the, well, not straight, through the eye joist, um, over to that corner, and then drill a hole outside, and then I'm not sure, because it's obviously, I'm obviously a long ways off from doing my workshop. I'm not sure if I should put the hole in, run the wires out, put them in a box or something, and just cap them off, or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do yet. I probably will do that, and then, like, I won't make the final connection here just yet for the electrical anyway. That way there's no chance of... Anyway, screw it, let's get to work. <laughs> so I have some red wire and some black wire, but neither of them are long enough to make this run over there. So I've got some green wire and another shade of green wire. <laughs> red and black are the obvious choices, but eh, nobody will ever see it once it's in, right? 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 <laughs> Oh, Russell, Russell, Russell. I, forgot, I said I was going to run four wires. Which means i got to run whatever scraps I have and join them in the middle. part really is a two-person job. I've got wires everywhere here. Jesus, what a pain. Doesn't want to go at all. Shit. 
I had to get the vice grips on it and get mean with it, but it's coming now, very slowly. Nothing's easy. I should have measured off on the wire how much distance I needed to go so I know where, where I was when I was near the top. Uh, I have no idea how far I've gone. I hope the hole up there is big enough. <laughs> I thought it was the same hole as this one, but. smaller I think it's smaller shit now what do I do come on you can make it of course running the wires through there then across the room is gonna be real annoying you can do it no ah! I pulled the fish line right out shit cable like this and one of the green cables did not make it. I can feel it right at the edge. Damn it. Damn it. Thumbs. You know those jobs you do and you think it's ah oh, it's only gonna take 20 minutes. Well every job I've ever done that I thought was gonna take 20 minutes took half a day or a day. And every job I've ever done that I thought was gonna take half a day or a day took a half a day or a day or longer. Uh, what I'm saying is I can't win. <laughs> so what I did was I pulled everything back out. I drilled the hole a little bit bigger at the top. Came back down from the top but this time I attached the wires to the, the fish hook at the top and pulled them all down. So I've got them all here. Can you see them? So I've got them all here and I've probably got enough length there. So now I don't have to worry about pulling all this wire up through here, you know, and across the room. Now I can start up there and, and pull through and go across. So that's, that's a good thing. I shudder to think what I've done to the insulation behind this wall, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's probably a mess back there. Anyway, now I can continue. God. Yeah, the stupid part is, I got all these wires all over the floor. There's five wires here, and I'm trying to keep them all separate, but as they're going up the wall here, they're getting tangled up and stuff. And I've got the frying pan coming, <laughs> coming up the wall with me. I'm like, what the hell? Oh my God, this, this elk antler's coming up the wall <laughs> with the wires <laughs> Damn it! Ah! What a mess! <laughs> Jeez. Alright, 
them all together. Try not to have everything, including the kitchen sink, follow me up here. going to be a real pain. <laughs> Should I be doing this one wire at a time? Should I? It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm going to be switching to one wire at a time, or two. Maybe. One of these wires isn't very long. Holy like crap. Kinks. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to just just stapling this wire across the ceiling, right? Just it'll look like hell, but it'll be a lot easier. Oh. Nice shot, Russell. You can't even see me, can you? Anyway, I spent the better part of an hour entangling cables right here. That was obviously a very bad idea to run them all at the same time. And when you're in the middle of some, in the middle here, there's there's no ends. You don't have an end to work with, so it's even worse. It's like, you know, trying to do a Rubik's cube with cables. It's you know those old puzzles, those string puzzles you get. What a nightmare. So I'm um, switch gears and I'm just doing. One cable at a time. You can't see me at all, can you? as far as the black cable goes. I'll have to use something else. I may have to go into town and get more wiring, but as soon as I get the wiring kind of all over here somewhere, then I'm good. I can continue, you know, working on the ceiling over there or the wall over there or whatever. Um, yeah. Four times. Oh, come on. 
come on. It's not that cold out, it's about five Celsius. So it's pretty nice actually, it was a great day. Anyway, that project turned out to be a real bag of dicks. It was supposed to be, this video was supposed to be like 20 minutes of pine, or sorry, 20 minutes of uh, elect electrical, and then the rest was gonna be pine video. Uh, but no, it didn't turn out that way. It's about 20, 20 after six right now, and I'm just tired. Most of the wiring's done. Um, I still have to put the plastic back up uh, and tape it and stuff. But you know, I've, I've given up for now. I'll finish the rest maybe tomorrow. Now that the wiring's out of the way, I don't have to worry about it too much. It's it's all over on that side anyway. But yeah, what a bag of dicks this project was. From the snaking that line through to the losing the wires in the first pull and then getting them all tangled up. And, and I swear, like, when you're doing wiring across the cabin and the wire the wire drapes down to the floor and then you try and pull it back up, it grabs everything on the way back. It knocks shit off the fridge. It, like, oh, it is. What a pain. What a pain. Well, I'd still rather do that than insulation. <laughs> oh, I wish TJ Miller had been here for that because uh, he would have been a big help. A big help, but I know he couldn't make it today. Anyway, guys, happy Friday. Hopefully, we're books festing tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to be back in time. If I'm not here tonight, Friday, then I will be here tomorrow, Saturday, for, uh, for a good live stream. So look for me either tonight or tomorrow. I will be here. Anyway, leave a comment. I read every comment. Uh, click the like button. Do all that nice stuff. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. I almost never say that because I never think about it. Willow, where were you? Ah, we got video there. There <laughs> she goes. Had a girl. Where were you? She comes up here all excited, like, Daddy, guess what you missed? I was out there. We saw things. Oh, no, don't go for the camera. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, you're all excited. You're all excited. Let's get some video of this excitement. I know. What did you, well, what did you see? What did you see? Huh? What did you see? Was it good? Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, did you? Where, where were you? Where did you go? Where did you go? Yeah. yeah.